New Twitter logo, okay? The famous X. I mean, seriously, this is one of the craziest logos out there. So originally, the Twitter HQ was actually somewhat like this, right? You know, the Twitter HQ's logo and the bird were on the side of the building, and it just pretty much looked pretty sick, okay? It was nice and chill, you know, at Twitter, Twitter bird. Logos on the side of the building. That looks pretty nice. And now, Elon's like, screw that. We're going to be putting a giant X on this pre-war building. And this pretty much also makes a statement, right? That Elon pretty much has the balls to do this. And that massive X, not going to lie, it goes kind of hard. Now, it really depends on you because there's a lot of Twitter users out there and most are not happy with a change of X. I honestly thought it's very, very funny. And by the way, Musk could be launching some other pretty crazy applications in Twitter and trying to make it like the next WeChat where a bunch of apps are centralized into one app. That's kind of like what he's doing. So check this out. New Twitter logo. Officials are not happy. And by officials, I mean the city. So San Francisco officials stopped the installation of the new Twitter logo today because one, it doesn't have the proper design and safety permits. And two, it actually messes with the historical look of the building. Now, San Francisco, I don't really think they should be messing around with Musk at this point because of the amount of people leaving. Now, Elon Musk is already refusing to pay rent, property tax, and other cash to the city because he pretty much says that the city is a massive dump and they're not using the money right. So this is just going to be another like needle jab into Musk. And Elon really, really is considering about moving Twitter out of San Francisco. Guys, San Francisco honestly needs to chill a little bit. They pretty much spend all their time messing with Musk and messing with the new Twitter logo instead of helping small business owners or helping malls or helping other companies to stay in the city, right? I mean, there's homeless tents everywhere. There's people on drugs everywhere, but nah, you just got to put all of your attention on Elon's Twitter's X logo. Like, it, it really doesn't make sense. I honestly feel like some of the city's priorities are really screwed up. Now, I get it. You know, different cities have different rules, but come on, man. Like, you're spending so much time and personnel on this, whereas the rest of the city is literally like going to the dump. So regarding the X on top of the building, any replacement letters or symbols require a permit that ensures consistency with the historical nature of the building. So I'm not really sure what that means, and that's extremely vague. And depending on who checks up on Musk's X project, they're going to say whatever, right? They're going to say, oh, this doesn't really you know, look well, the building. I mean, this is like a really like a personal issue. Right? I guess they're just going to force them to make like a tiny little X on the side of the building, which is honestly very underwhelming. This is what Elon wants to do, like a massive giant X on top of the building that anyone around the city's or the building's radius could see. That's what he wants to do. And Elon is now absolutely hating San Francisco. Now, you probably don't notice that Tesla has already moved their HQ from San Francisco to Austin. So if you're a Tesla owner, if you ever received mail from Tesla, you're going to see it's from Austin, Texas. And it's not just him, guys. So many people are leaving San Francisco. Musk also hates the location of this building. Now, if you check this out, okay, this is the Twitter HQ right here. It's a pretty fat building. It's a pre-war building, and they host a lot of employees. But literally, one block above it is just a massive homeless crisis, okay? This place used to not be that bad, but now City Hall... If you don't see like 50 tents, it is a weird day at City Hall. There's people doing drugs, shooting up. And honestly, the Twitter logo is kind of located in the trenches at this point. And Musk doesn't like it. And then you also have them doing this. Okay, now this is honestly just my opinion. I don't think the city should be messing around with the X thing. Focus on other things, right? But with this going on, permits going on, the historical look going on, Elon is now really considering leaving San Francisco. Remember, Elon Musk has also refused to pay millions in rent and a lot of money and other taxes to San Francisco. He doesn't want to pay. He says he will pay when they clean up the streets. Now, we're not really sure if he paid at the end or not, but he's honestly willing to go through a multi-million dollar lawsuit then pay just like a few hundred dollars for rent and taxes and stuff like that. Now, I get it. It's pretty much a statement that he's making. He's saying that San Francisco is such a dump 
that they're not going to pay anything. It's just such a bad place to live overall. And pretty much says it's critical that companies like Twitter can be convinced that they can stay here and they're welcome and we welcome them. And this is back in the old days, right? When they gave Twitter tax breaks and when the city pretty much really encouraged these massive corporations to come in. At the very least, they clean up some streets. And now even like massive corporations are not getting the city's attention. They're just leaving. They're done with the city. Now check this out. You know, this looks absolute crazy and I kind of get the idea. I mean, this is like a pre-war building and this looks kind of funny, not going to lie. But also goes pretty hard too. Now also remember that San Francisco is pretty much a crazy situation here. I mean, look at this, guys. This is the Nordstrom era, right? This is San Francisco Cisner. This is like this massive mall where you got all your shopping. And look at this, bro. I mean, you just got people just drugged up high. And wow, like that's crazy. That is actually crazy. Like imagine walking through the street and just not just people next to the mall, but yeah, straight up people just flat out sleep on the sidewalk while it's their bed. Now these people absolutely need help. The city really doesn't care. Not to mention how can you care about these people when your city literally is going broke? San Francisco for the first time actually has a budget deficit. So if you're losing money, how are you supposed to help these individuals, right? And that's what everyone's saying. Like, you're supposed to clean the streets up, right? You're supposed to make everything safe so businesses will stay. And then you tax the crap out of those businesses. Then you use the money to help these guys. But nah, San Francisco pretty much was like, okay, let's just let these guys suffer in the streets and in the city. At the same time, let's not care about the businesses either. So now we're broke. I mean, this is crazy. Like, I've never seen like the mindset of a city become backwards. I mean, at the very least, San Diego understands that they need money to help the homeless, so they're actually banning tent encampments. And I mean, San Francisco, I have no clue. I mean, this just doesn't make any sense. This is almost like not even a real city at this point, right? I mean, look at this. You got just tourism, walking by tents, homeless people, drug needles, I mean, this is this is actually insane. Like I've never seen anything like this. I mean, tourists are actually pretty freaked out by this whole situation. Not to mention, like even nice hotels. The moment you walk out, there's just straight up tents. And you may be wondering, oh, can't they just call the police or three one one to come over and clean it up? Nah, not even the big hotel chains have that power. So you actually have a big business of people placing down massive planters in the middle of the streets of San Francisco to prevent tents. It's crazy, like it's one of the craziest cities I've ever seen. It's a massive homeless pit and the city really doesn't care. Like I, I know I keep saying the city doesn't care, but it's honestly crazy to see that the city doesn't care, right? Usually cities care a little bit or just a small minimum, but they really just do not care at all. And that's what's going on. And like I said before, Elon Musk is now pretty furious thinking about moving Twitter out. We're seeing other companies already moving out at this point. Honestly, Elon should really move Twitter out. This is not a place for employees. This is not a safe place for anyone to work here. Just move it online or just move it out to Austin or Miami, whatever it is. Okay. Even Whole Foods is leaving. When your local grocery store is leaving because so many avocados and grocery items are being stolen, this is not the place you want to live in. San Francisco, absolutely terrible. It's a shame. Like I said before, look at how good this location is, right? A peninsula. They got beaches, parks, skyscrapers, you name it. Go north, you got Wine Valley. Go down, you got Stanford and Silicon Valley. Such a fantastic location. And now it's just completely terrible. See you guys later.